let's listen how it sounds like and I can't wait to show you how I made it. <laughs> This is the young and them. Long time no see, right? Fred again is one of my favorite artists, so that was great to make something like his genre. His genre, can I say like that? Because it's breakbeat. Breakbeat, UK garage, you can open any DAW. In my case, it's FL Studio. Our tempo is 132 BPM. I think the foundation of this track is the groove. I mean, kick and bass create that foundation of it, you know. Here's the first kick. I took this rhythm from the original track and rework it just a little bit. Thanks Fred again for teaching us. So you should know that the right selection of drums is very important here. They should work with each other, you know. Try to choose only high quality samples. They don't need a lot of processing. This is the most important aspect. Next, we got some bass. This is 88 bass. This bass repeats the same rhythm as our kick. And this is the key, this is that foundation. So you just sidechain this 808 bass. Then I made stop bass. It's from uh, Avenger. Made a duplication and reverse it. In intro and verse part we have this growl bass. I just can't believe it's you. That was pretty simple to create. <laughs> I made it in serum. Only one oscillator like unison. That's it. It's uh, from basic shapes. I also assigned two modulators. One of them to detune and two cutoff. Then distortion and OTT compression. OTT compression and I reduced high frequencies. That was too much, too much. And tube saturation. That's it. So I consolidated it to the wave file because my CPU is dying. String loop. In solo it sounds pretty scary, like scary movie, right? But my advice is always listen to it in the context, like in the whole context. And look what I found, this pad is so amazing. Damn, it's amazing. Then I recorded some piano. In the beginning, when I started, I wanted to do the same things as in the Fred Again track, but then I thought I would not do the same vocal chops, that stutter vocal chops. Then I write this melody with the synth. Let's listen to it, and then I want to explain this after motion clips. Then we have this one. 
it plays the same melody like uh, like this main synth. So my friend Arcade, you know Arcade, right? He's also a music producer, YouTuber. Together with WA Production, they made this plugin. I decided to try out on this lead instrument and I was really surprised how great it worked out. I used three knobs. It's a lo-fi knob, build and wash. Let me show you how wash knob works. See how transparent and clean it sounds like build. Another great effect, together they work like this. Damn, it's so cool. I mean, yeah, this effect can be done with other plugins as well, but you should use like 5-6 plugins to get the same result. And here is just only one plugin that replaced them all, so in my case it saves like a lot of time. I made another automation of Neon Glow, this knob. And look, this is without, this with. This lo-fi knob makes reverb more interesting, like broader, smoother, fits 100%. So the second lead is this one. Again Avenger, this sound from Factory 2. It's voice. Mm, okay, I thought it's a plug, plug instrument. Together they sounds like this. Let's look at the verse part. Thanks Fiona for these uh, great vocal samples. Are you here? I can't believe I found you. I, I just can't believe it's you. I make this automation clip uh, with this delay. Look. I just can't believe it's you. I can't believe it's you. Are you here? I can't believe I found you. I, I just can't believe I know it's forever. This is one of my favorite parts. The track is quite simply arranged, but all these things, all these instruments work very well together. I was very happy to try to write something like this. So let's summarize. Groove is everything. It's the foundation. Swing on triplets is the key to the style. Uh, bass and kick repeat each other. The lead instrument can be whatever you want as long as it complements to the whole track. That's it guys. I hope that was helpful to you. I personally learned a lot and decided to share it with you. See you guys. See you in the next video.